queuing up construction on every planet involved a lot of minerals. Go figure. Who knew? <laughs> right? I still need to like actually reorganize my freaking star bases at some point, but you know, that'll that'll yeah, be a thing. Be. All right, I am attacking the. Uh, there we go. I attacked the uh, construction ship, killed it. A great victory for us all. Why? Why am I still getting a an alert that the chosen of the Great Khan is in this system? Maybe there's like chunks of the Great Khan. This is the Great Khan. Blah blah blah. My defeat of the hands of the trophies a minor setback. A second onslaught approaches. Mm, they're absolutely right. One of our so one of our Pyron slaves was sold on the slave market. I don't have slaves. What the hell are you talking about, game? It, why would you have it's slaves? Weird. GG? It it does that sometimes. I don't know why, but I mean I would enslave foxes, but not Pyrons. <laughs> Whatever they are. Oh, pff, I already don't have everything queued up on every planet here. Oh. Stop trying to join our hierarchy of guys. <laughs> You're a girl. <laughs> no girls allowed in our f play our fort here. Oh man, I gave you one monthly alloy and you gave me nothing, and it has expired. That's because you were getting the. Uh... Yeah, I felt bad about the oh, ten uh, consumer goods, or I guess that was an actual trade trade. <laughs> Oh goody! A party aftermath. Uh, life uh, finds a way. <laughs> what do I got? What do I got? Research complete. Um. All right, where are these halves? Ah, oh, there we go. There they are. Uh, they are Tundra Preference, Industrious, and Enduring. I like the half Zerfall better. Intelligent and Communal. That's definitely better. Got some half Beldross. Meanwhile, I still have an Ascension perk to pick. You should uh, you should go for the, the one that allows you to have uh, Xeno compatibility. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, right? except that your tone of voice suggests that it's a trick. You should it's you should go for the actually, magic beans perks. It's uh, it increases growth, so mm -hmm. your your pops will grow faster. Uh, you'll just end up with half breeds. You end up with a bunch of freakish mutant turtles. You, you if you're really show. lucky, you may end up with like a, a half half human, half something else, something half something else kind of thing. It's it's pretty great. zones. Any worlds that I should be opening up uh, branch offices on in your spaces? Yeah, probably. Yes, there's one. Replicator kiosks. Uh, oh, that's like a high-end. He takes up Shit, tons of crystals. New branch office. You... Whatever, I'm not really worried about that. Uh... We're not building cruisers anymore, but I'll get standard cruiser patterns anyway. A whole bunch of stuff finished at once. Weird how that works, isn't it? Well, when you queue them all up off screen, yeah. Oh, well, that's about all that I can afford. Oh, my leader died again. See, if you just put turtles in charge of everything, you wouldn't have and as Now problem. I have Xenophile Ethics Attraction plus 10% as the only choice. <laughs> it is a strange bug. Now i got to figure out where I'm missing a leader. And it actually, it was a species I didn't recognize, so... Um... I need to go through my list of species. I'm still a great fan of the uh, the, the penguin uh, moles. 
who are underground penguins. So let me see. Uh, where where would that be? My government and the. Oh, hold on. I gotta. Oh God, I got pirates. <laughs> In the most ridiculous of places. It's or no? What, it said there was hostile hostile fleets here. Is that where they actually are? Yeah. No. That's a. That's it's. Still saying that the uh, the chosen of the great Connor in our space. I don't know why. Uh. I'll be I'll be back shortly though. <laughs> I need to go need to go take care of the pirates. <laughs> and that's when they jump in and destroy my science ship. I mean, oh, that would be so bad. Um... Why is that being like that? Hmm. Two more battleships getting queued up. Home of their own. Send in the human laborers anyway. Why would a robot lie? Oh, let me read this one. Uh, robotic workers on blah, 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 have resisted an influx of human laborers, claiming recent geothermal geothermic instability in the region has made the area unsafe for organic habitation. Oddly enough, our planetary surveys have not been able to confirm these claims. If so I could send in human laborers. If their claims cannot be confirmed, the robots will observe the chain of command, or why would a robot lie? Uh, leave the region to the robots. A robot tension modifier added, giving the following effect, monthly unity minus 10%. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I would think that you would send in human laborers and then... Not just let the robots oh, slowly build their own empire. Yeah, I'll let the robots slowly build their own empire. No, the robots, so. they slowly build their own empires. <laughs> Robot integration some, tensions. Some dang cold ones there. And minus one. Your the pirates you have here are apparently beers. The beers? Cold ones, yes. <laughs> Let's see. There's a uh, raider brain drain, a raider criminally insane, a raider carrion eater, raider no refunds. It's appropriate. Brainiac, deviant citizen, bush ranger, murderous intent, uh, conscientious objector, shameless plagiarist, uh, resonance cascade, and poppycock. That made sense to you, right? Those are those are the names of their ships. Oh, hey, a All right. new gateway has been completed in the Weezand of Kados. Yep, Excellent. perfect. So, is there more combat about to go down? Ooh, Not right the cold now. Ones. The cool ones. I wonder if after all this we could take out like the automated dreadnought because that's a lot of fleets we've been building to deal with these jer jerks. Uh, considering that my fleet is twenty one k, I don't know exactly how big your fleets are, precisely, but mm -hmm. I would say yeah. Yeah, all of ours together should be able to do it. Um, that is definitely a, something that I would want to make sure that we had all of our fleets upgraded for, though, first. Yeah. I got a cruiser class ship. I it was underwater. I apparently do not actually have uh, claims on the Gandler of Horde systems that we lost. That I lost. It's kind of annoying, actually. Well, I'm finally getting around to claiming the system that has an L gate, even though I don't know when I'm going to get around to getting up there. By the time I do, I'm sure you guys will have L gate technology. Oh, wait, I'm, cl I'm as close as I'm ever going to get. I'm up in the 
terrapin corner of the world here. Yeah, I mean that's the there's only that one L gate. That's the only L gate that yeah. exists. I need to grab it. And while we could certainly like compete for it, I don't see much point. <laughs> Well, I feel like I went to a lot of trouble to be ready for it, but no. What I mean is, like, there's there's no yeah, real. Yeah, but point it's a shared resource once we have it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And if anybody has to deal with a bunch of green anides coming out of it, it'll be you. Ooh, a silent. Hold on, I gotta pause again. Sorry, this is all new to me. Hopefully, it's new to my viewers. A silent congregation. We have received accounts of unusual behavior exhibited by robotics on thus. At unpredictable intervals, a number of our planet-side robots will cease all signed functions and begin moving to a seemingly randomly determined location in complete synchronicity, timed down to the millisecond. During these bizarre congregations, the affected robots do not appear to engage in any observable form of communication or data transfer. They just stand there, completely still, staring. Investigations have been able to determine the reason behind this recent phenomenon. The duration mm -hmm. for which the robots remain in a trance-like state for resuming normal function varies, as does their time of triggering and destination. No logical correlation or causation has been found, and our population is understandably distressed. Unacceptable, have them scrapped, or as long as they don't cause trouble, which uh, does more Unity stuff. I'm just wondering, this isn't connected at all to any of the endgame crises, is it? It's just a different thing? It's a mid-game crisis. Um, oh. I can connect to the... Uh the robot endgame crisis, but not it doesn't necessarily. I mean, I'm inclined to just let them do it and observe them, but I guess the smart thing to do would scrap, be to scrap them, it seems like. Yeah, I'm going to let this play out. All right. Ooh, I can build mega cannons. When you can build mega cannons, you should build mega cannons. <laughs> I'm actually more of a fan of the um uh what are they called? The the lightning one. Focus so I did manage to find a um what do you call it here? An anomaly and it has a uh, temples of old gods. Ooh. That I'm, it, it spawned three temples of old gods and other systems, and I'm going and researching those now. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, that can be kind of fun. Ooh, jump drive. There we go. That's good. All right. One pop of our founder species human is up for sale in the slave market. <laughs> Who is enslaving humans? Is it the turtles? It's the turtles, isn't it? Pretty sure it's the lag and choose. I I cut off my migration treaty with them though. Maybe yeah, they, they, they still have them. they still have them. <laughs> yeah. Just because but... they cut off the migration treaty doesn't mean that they uh, they kill all of the humans no, I, that were I, there. I, I, I get that, but I guess what I, I guess what I'm saying is. Um, they're only selling one human slave every couple hundred, every couple hundred years, so it's okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, once I get the, I guess I gotta get the L gate, and then I concentrate on taking out the leg and cheese because I gotta, I gotta expand somewhere. Ooh, incoming transmission hey, from the Cyan Marauders. Come to visit your pulse. systems. We save you from growing too rich and fat. Yes. God, do I, I don't want to deal with with Marauders right in the middle of us dealing with the cons. So I guess it would be a good time to give them, like, just to let them have it, right? Whatever they want. I'd be inclined to fight these guys if we weren't in the middle of dealing with a con eight. So I guess I'll give them some energy so, and get them to shut up. I've uh, successfully researched all three of these temples, and uh, there's a revelation of the old gods, the complete... Uh, Doctrine of the Gods. Oh, sweet. Uh, for that is what the recovered texts have been... Uh, have to be regarded as. Dwarving the fairy tale scraps upon which the old Zerfol religions were founded is a shockingly, shockingly revolutionary... Uh, revelatory as it is revolutionary. 
Though only a little bit of creative interpretation is clear that the people of Xanamar were meant for great things, guided by a strong hand of a religious leader. Our path is one to but godhood. But our path is littered with prophecies unfulfilled and sin born of ignorance. Redemption is uh, a firm real. So, what do we got here? You've turned I can into suppress cells. the findings and I get some influence. I can monetize the findings and I get energy credits. Uh, I can... What is this? It ends it. Uh, I can... But what change. can we learn from this? And get change. a bunch of research. Yeah, you should change your religious fundamentalists. Or I can start a religious renaissance and shift the empire towards spiritualists <laughs> and get a ton of unity. That's kind of a bad thing. <laughs> I know, but I'd have so much unity. Yeah, yeah it's, it's true. <laughs> But I feel that I'm just going to go for the, uh, I don't know, I think maybe the research. Anyways, we can pause now. Boop. Boop. Beep, 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 boop. Oh, that's a different federation had something happen. I was like, wait, who snuck somebody into our federation? So the uh, the guys that tried to get into ours, it's like, well, okay, I guess the, the good ones won't take me. I'll join the crappy ones. <laughs> I mean, I, eventually we're going to have to sort out those golden Montana assholes. Just... The United Kingdom joined the Golden Compact, so, yeah. Pretty golden, I guess. <laughs> so they're, are all of your guys' fleets up there? Golden. Huh? Uh, so all of my fleets aren't up there right now. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that you're going to tell me when things are going bad because I, I could upgrade my fleets by quite a bit. So I was like, let's get these upgrades going. Fair. Yeah, I mean, I I'm, I got guys just sitting around in your space right now. Easily. They should they could go somewhere and upgrade if we thought we could spare them for a while. But I feel like as soon as I should be able leave, to get back there within a matter of a couple days. I mean, you could certainly pull off some. I'm I'm moving back now. Um... The Gandlerev Horde are currently cutting into the uh, Holfier Star Authority. But it looks like I lost my... Like, losing those uh, um, uh, systems meant that because this is a Horde, I don't actually have claims on them. Uh -oh. Which means mm -hmm. I'm going to want to take those back before we destroy the uh, the Khan. The Great Khan? Great Khan! Yep. Uh, yeah. That, that one, that con. Yeah. Well, but I need to get my fleet back up there, and I may do some upgrading. Although I'm like out of alloys at this point. Yeah, I'm down to fifty alloys because I just queued up two more Federation battleships, so that brought me down to fifty <laughs> alloys. So yeah, I'm up to. I'm down to. Well, I was down to 34, but I'm, I'm at 200 now. Well, nope. 43. Why? I didn't click anything. Where are my alloys going, then? Hey, where are my alloys at? What are you at? Oh, hold on. Sorry, another one I've never seen before. Com computational overclocking. Our scientists report up unexpected rise in CPU clock cycles in several of our research-dedicated supercomputer clusters. Initial attempts at reducing clock frequency in affected units have proven unsuccessful. Um, you cannot risk a hardware malfunction, or you must take advantage of this. This feels Don't like it's heading... pause when you've decided... Because I, I need to mention something. Don't unpause when you've decided, but go ahead. Oh, I, I, I'm starting to get really uneasy about all this now. I feel like it's <laughs> time to cut this thing off. So I was going to try to f uh, force it back to the, the correct speed. Uh, you can choose what you want. I was <laughs> just saying, don't unpause when you're... Uh... Okay. Well, I just, yeah. I'm just trying to. I'm not unpausing, but I just trying to force them okay. back to the actual speeds to avoid hardware malfunction. That's my yeah. stated reason. So, 
So I figured out where my alloys are going. Mm -hmm. You're upgrading one of the uh, um, uh, fleets, yeah. Yeah. That's where they're going. Oh, the Federation fleet? No, I'm not upgrading Federation fleets. I'm upgrading my own fleets. I, I think we may have discovered a bug. Oh god, yeah. Well, thanks for <laughs> thanks for paying for my upgrades. Yeah, much appreciated. I'm, I'm, uh, can I send I you some alloys? Uh, I, I mean, you can. It's it's not a huge deal. How many alloys are you making right now? I'm making month? 104. I've got 259 because I'm building all these Federation battle cruisers. How about when all is well, it's time to call done. it a video anyway? So you know. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me put it this way. Uh, I, I will be going down the pathway of building megastructures, and I will need lots and lots and lots of alloys. So uh, how about I call in the chit then? Okay. Hopefully there's some <laughs> chips. For, hopefully I'll have some alloys to give you at that point. But we'll uh, see. We should. But we'll see how that uh, plays out then. See you next time, everyone. Bye, Bye guys. Let me build a. Oh, let me actually cut it off.